So we are looking at how do you cannulate the femoral vein? How do we do this? What are we trying to do? So we're trying to get, obviously, the cannula into the femoral uh, vein, but it's quite deep and can be quite hard to find. So let's quickly work out how we actually find this. So we have our cannula, our cleaning stuff, and something to tie it down. The landmarks, right? So we take our thumb on the iliac crest and we put our um, index finger on the pubic symphysis. So that tells us that that is our linguinal uh, ligament. And so in between there, we should be able to find the femoral pulse, right? So if we find the femoral pulse, that's a good place because the vein is next to the femoral, right? So it goes nerve, artery, vein. So nav, N-A-V. So nerve, artery, vein. So if we found the femoral pulse, so I found the femoral pulse in this patient, we're going to get about two or three centimeters down from that. And then what we're doing is we're aiming at the umbilicus, right? So if we take a bit of a dive into the anatomy of what this looks like, you can see how if we went at that angle, we would catch the femoral pulse. Uh, vein, and that's exactly what we want to do. Obviously, you're going to clean. Um, this is best done with an ultrasound to confirm placement and to confirm location. So, if need be, that is a good option. So, we're going to clean, you know, circular motions, whatever, weave basket, however you want to clean it, as long as it's clean. We always want to try to stay clean. So, we have our landmark, our femoral vein, one to two centimeters down. and we're gonna to go towards the umbilical because that is the angle of the vein. We're gonna push down, and then you should get your flashback. Once you have your flashback, you advance it a millimeter, and you push in. And there we go. That is your femoral uh, vein cannulation. It's the same process now. We're gonna take off the back here we're going to throw this away. We obviously can't block it very well. That's in and that is attached. Then that can be tied down however you need to tie it tied down. Then we can give um, our fluids and our you know, drugs, whatever case we need to give through that. Um, like I said previously with the um, jugular vein, is that you want to make sure that there is no, once again, high pressure blood coming through this. Because if we attach our saline to that and we suddenly have blood traveling back up the line, which I've seen, um, it tells us that we are in an artery. You're going to see it pulsating back up the IV line. Um, that tells us we are in the incorrect place. And now we need to try and compress this, which is a challenge to compress, right, because it's quite deep. So that's kind of why we don't really do this very often, or probably not anymore. Um, but it is an important skill to at least acknowledge exists. So there we go. If you guys have any questions about that or any thoughts or, you know, how I did the um, external jug, I'd love to know what you think. Um, thanks for your time. And if you did enjoy this, Check out this video, you'll probably enjoy that too.